So all the lever rooms are behind secret doors, and they all control the portcullises. But that, since we have the map, we know kind of where, where they are. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay. Um, if I were building a big dwarven vault mm -hmm. and knowing that if things went really south, somebody might like overwhelm this place by force. Like nobody builds a, a hole in the ground that they do not have a back way out of. So I'm thinking, you know, and again, I got to think like the, like the old guy who's going to be sitting in the command seat Mm -hmm. You know, and then the the horde has overcome your defenses, and yep. you're like, well, I guess I got to pull my escape escape hatch. Where is that? I'm thinking because or that's better. where we're going to need to beat feet to if we're hoping to find our way out. Right? Does it make <clears throat> sense for that to be either, you know, in the Lord's bedroom or the war room? Where would you guys? Or in the temple? It depends on. It's like, the is temple's this, the classic spot, it is right? The, is, and there's a statue. It's got to be under the statue, you know, behind the statue. But, you know, that's narrative convention. You got to think about either there's somebody who's looking to save his own bacon, mm -hmm. or there's somebody who's actually looking out for the welfare of his clan, which means it might be by the dwarven residences. That, that's where the temple would make Indeed, sense. Indeed, but also the mechanism that you were going to use to to verify and safeguard your lineage, Hall of Elders seems like a good plan too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're gonna need one of these. What, what does my gut say? You know, looking over, I got, I got the map. Make an insight check. You break yeah. into places. I wanna, I wanna consult with the dwarf here. Yeah, I'm so like, I'll yeah. also make an insight check. Absolutely. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a two? Yeah. That is a two. That was very far away, that dice. That's, that's almost a 20. It was lonely. I love that color. It's like, by the way. thanks. Okay. I don't know. Ten base. That's nah, great. It's not great. Yeah. Nope. Nope. All dwarves are different. <laughs> um, and I got nothing necessarily that can right. that can help me. You have good, good thoughts. <laughs> those, those, <laughs> you have good thoughts. Those thoughts. Those ideas that there's uh, escape hatches somewhere. That's definitely in keeping with dwarven mentality. Yeah. And Benwin doesn't need to make a roll to know that. But you don't have any additional insight as to where in the specific compound those might be. Yeah, I don't think the vault proper, although there, there could be another word that were you speak you to, to this thing. Yeah. Were you to actually be in these locations? Were you to visit them at some point? You would probably be able to ascertain. Yeah, we'll just poke around. Right. Yeah. You poke around, okay. right? And then obviously as clients. It'll be one of your research clients. points once you're inside. Exactly. Yeah, cause, because it'll just go in and then oh, let's go get our shit and then like get out. Like, I can tell you one it. place it won't be and that's in the vault. Yeah. No one's going to make, no dwarf worth yeah. his salt is going to make a back door in a vault right now. Yeah. <laughs> it would be the worst spot. <laughs> that would be, the, that'd be yeah. like literally the worst spot for it. Mm -hmm. Yep. I bet there's a false unless escape that, in there. Unless that dwarf is a thief. That's right. <laughs> now, here is, here is one more thought. Yeah. Uh, with the magic mouth thing, if that falls apart. Uh huh. Um, is is the X the one we're trying to get into? Yes, that's of, where Auspicia has Of course put the rock it is, fragment. the one that's the... Double. The, yeah, double. Um, again, I'm, I'm thinking real heist here. Um, can you, like, blow out a wall? Because these walls don't look hugely thick. It might uh, be, like, six, eight inches, maybe a foot of stone. Yeah, it's got a foot of stone. But, like, maybe if we can't get through the magic mouth, but I can get us through some locks, we could go right through the fucking wall. Here, I, I have a question, Jim. Yeah. So if we... I know that you can use illusions to create sounds. I can. Could you use an auditory illusion to mask another sound? I guess if it's loud enough. Right? Yeah. A silence spell a is another way to go. A yeah. silence. Oh, that's the coolest I mental have image that. I have ever seen. Yeah. A sound, oh, right. soundless explosion. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is that in, in the movie that would that it would happen. Yeah. But it would be like classical music playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't have a. I have silence. Don't worry about it. An explosion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can mm -hmm. cast a firebolt that'll blow up anything, mm -hmm. like oil or something explosive. Mm -hmm. How about? I mean, is there? Do we have like? Blasting powder? Can I get a freaking bomb? Is there no such thing? Um, alchemical. No, no, something. we can use alchemist fire. Alchemist fire. How about something with just eat through stone? That's what we put in the mm -hmm. freaking box. Yeah, that's the top. Acid. Acid, like acid super. Do it. Not getting in a box full Dude, of acid. You know, you know, yeah. <laughs> magic acid. You know what might be interesting? 
some sort of beast Acid that eats effective stone. against metal, but not so effective against stone. If we had to, we could just wheel no. the keg over by the door, <laughs> or by the wall. We've got two ways. We've got two ways. Um, we can wheel the keg mm -hmm. if we have if we have one extra. Uh, you know, we'll say, hey, we want to store one of our kegs in this vault for when we visit. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a special vintage mm -hmm. something. It gets yeah. rolled yeah. over there. It's that pricey. Stone shape. Dark magic. Vintage. Hey, there we go. Stone yeah. shape. Literally just melt the stone away. Yes. Now there's going to be magical. We're going to need you to break dispel magic on it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really hard. Right. Okay. It may not be possible. But stone shape will also you have work. Stone shape? Yeah. Stone Why don't shape. You have stone shape. I'm not a magician. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's, it's your hammer, pretty much. I thought much. you loved rocks. <laughs> um, I got two ways to shape stone. <laughs> Thorin and Thoror. Right? <laughs> so I, so stone, shape, shape, stone yeah. shape is the winner, and I flesh. think. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prepare that. That would be silent. Yes. And you've got, um, you've got to spell magic? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Always. Awesome, awesome. You know what, dwarves love planning. <laughs> <laughs> He's practicing being in the box right now. I think we're already in the box. <laughs> Sweating. Come on, guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Just go. Hmm. All right, all right. We're all in right. the box. I like the box. Okay, do, I pull do you out see my here? Snacks. There's all like right. all these store like <laughs> booze storage room. Bin win booze buys. storage yeah, yeah, room. Booze, booze, booze <laughs> storage room. De definitely take a look at the map and see how many I'm just, just barrels beans. there are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's four rooms that apparently are devoted just to barrels. Just to the barrels. Making six those barrels was a lot of fun. By there's the way. six. <laughs> oh, so there's, there's six, six rooms. That I All right. One. Yes. So, so we, so we are ready to pull the trigger on this thing. Yeah. We have prepared our spells. I'm prepared. Um, we have barrel and barrel and barrel. So we've got like three ways to break into that mm -hmm. vault. Yeah. If yeah. and this is this, that's how many we should have. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um. One one last question. Total population here. A hundred, okay. Roughly a hundred doors. Then maybe, then maybe what we'll do, we're gonna have the official gift, yes. which is gonna be like the Including posh. families and children. Yeah. Yeah. It's a families yeah, but, and children. It's like the enterprise. Yeah. yeah. Family <laughs> ship. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna have the official like keg that we're gonna give. Yeah. But you know, that's gonna be like the posh liquor that only like the good people get to drink. Right. Um, what? You know, if I'm going to be there as What's your the dwarven legal drinking age, seven, <laughs> <laughs> seven and a half. <laughs> uh, if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna be giving them the official gift, yeah. Um, what I might do, kind of as your your assistant, um, is I might like I, I want to be ready to say, you know, I know that you aren't going to get any of that, but I arranged over here. There's a couple of barrels of not the best stuff, but pretty good stuff for you guys. It's for the residences. I know that you guys right, do the yeah. real work. I want to be ready with that. Like it's probably left outside with our luggage or whatever. Mm. Um, so, and again, treated the same way, but that's the stuff that's going to get to the mooks. Okay. Um, yep. It stinks in this box now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an yeah. odor is coming out of the box. An emanation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, All right. I think we it. Are we are eating beans. beans. <laughs> oh, they're so good. You want some? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, seriously, the box is starting to smell a little rank. <laughs> but it's got the vents. Yeah. It's not enough. We, sh yeah. we shake it a little bit. <laughs> oh, <Is> there, <laughs> is there a silent version of yeah. the pocket? Yeah. Just for stink? We're just invisible. We're not in my pocket. No, oh, shoot. Oddly. Invisible stink. Yeah, strange that. Yeah, but they're gonna smell this, and they're gonna think my fucking gem stinks or something. Yeah, you gotta rein your ass in. <laughs> Don't worry. Once we're in the enclave, dwarven farts will not be <laughs> oh, all right, that's true. a problem. It's protective coloration. They don't even actually. notice it. You're walking into a whole okay. subterranean wonderland of dwarven farts. Yeah, yeah. You're right now, what you're experiencing right now will be a relief. They got no place okay. to go. Yeah, it's they just, just kind of hover up yeah. above. One vent in this entire complex. <laughs> the it's fart just a fan. fan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Are we ready to, are we ready to roll right. into the yeah. horn enclave? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so with uh, there's a you know an overland travel montage, and then yeah. you guys are standing outside this gaping cave mouth with these barred portcullises sealing it off. Uh, as you were approaching the entrance to Horn Enclave, you saw or you see, I should say, a dwarf in a kilt standing outside with a set of bagpipes, and he's just 
it's cold up here in the hills, and it's sort of it's the winter season. Although snow hasn't fallen here, uh, it's definitely ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys are it's nice, fine. Yeah, nice yeah, cozy we're warm right. here. Yeah, here. yeah, exactly. But uh, you guys are chilly. So you've kind of dressed, you got furs and other stuff right. on to stay warm. And you got cool big stuff. fluffy boots and mm -hmm. mittens and stuff. Uh, and uh, how are you carrying this thing with these two guys in it, by the way? We gotta have, like. Now you've got you've got three servants. Yeah. I don't know if you wanna bring them along to have, have them be. Being like, murdered. <laughs> to just leave them outside. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, send them off once they've. Or you know, inside yes. at the. Yeah, they'll put them up. Yeah. And uh, yeah. there's got to be like this good drove in construction. We can have like a little wheelie cart or something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah little wheelie. Yeah, cart. yeah. Once we get up, I'm sure yeah. it's not the first time someone has brought a box here. Right. You can have your Albert pull a little cart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just wants to feel useful, you know. <clears throat> so, so this this is this is the this is the dwarf out front here. Mm -hmm. That. Yeah. <laughs> We good. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes. Enjoy. No, I want you to enjoy yourselves to the maximum amount. Um, so, but th this this is the one out here that we have to. Uh, he has to play the song. He right? does. So yeah. why don't why don't you do the introduction? Okay. And then we'll see if that's enough. If it's not enough, yeah. you got to pull the lever. I'm ready. Uh. <laughs> All the elaborate, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> she just comes out with the box. <laughs> Allow me to introduce. <laughs> I heard the thing go south. I wonder. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. right. He's I, got the sideways jump. That was never going to work. <laughs> it was always bullshit. <laughs> that's We're never we getting in. <laughs> the last thing we need is. The, 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 unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the don't blow the whistle while you're in the I'm box, not, man. I'm That'd not. be a bad <laughs> scene. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> would be <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> uh, we yeah. need the password. We need the like blow the hatch password. Mm -hmm. Oh, in case that we can like. Caw! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except probably not a bird noise. Oh, no. It's hard to work that into a uh, conversation. Conversation. Uh, let's see. Could you Could it just be the words bird noise? Bird noise? <laughs> bird Whipper will. noise. <laughs> Here, we'll try Whipper Will. Whipper Will. Whipper Will. Whipper will. Yeah. I very the rarely word. use the word yeah. Whipper Will. It's not going to come up. Right. Okay. Oh man, it's going to be really hard Fight not it. to. Yeah. Fight it. Yeah. Okay. Don't use it. <sighs> okay. Right. Um, and I'm just looking angry, like I assume my sister looks. My yes. arm, arms are folded. Yeah, you're made up. You're, you're, you're sort of built yeah. out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have I, uh, I? I've got like I actually have the disguise kit proficiency on my sheet here. Oh, nice. Is there? A, can we just assume it's done, or yep. do you want me to roll it? Okay. Yep. Then uh, you've had I'm, time. I'll, it'll come into play later. Let's <laughs> pretend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Um, then I, I, how I say, uh, introducing. I'm going to play your your. Yeah. Um, her, uh, my lady Auspicia, here to make a deposit in the vault. I got right. the name right, right? It's Auspicia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he will, he'll, he'll sort of look her up and down. And you're sort of on your I leer. And you're, you're leering. <laughs> nice. Exactly. All right, uh, so I would like you to make a deception check, and uh, you can aid him. So. That's what oh, I'm killer. talking about. Yeah. So he's going to roll first, right? What's up? Is there one of those big oh, dice right here, here so that the enjoy? Uh, there we go. And now I'm rolling deception as well, uh, or I'm just persuasion. Gonna, I'm just going to double check something here. Performance, perhaps. I wonder. <laughs> one moment, please. Acrobatics, yes. you say? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what it usually is. So, so it's like a full minute. You're just doing cartwheels around. <laughs> Basically, your disguise just gives you your disguise work just gives you advantage on your deception. Oh, killer! Ooh, nice. So you don't even have to roll. All oh. right, awesome. Here, I'll take I'll take that other yeah. big one. Um, uh, this, is this is where the rubber hits the road. Deception, yeah, right? Yeah. Deception. Mm -hmm. oh, he's got a high charisma. 15, Nineteen. Nineteen. Hey. Start playing those pipes, kid. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he gives you uh, just one look up and down. He doesn't even try to communicate with you because he knows what you are personality-wise. Yeah, it's not worth it. You're a bit of a bear, not worth it. Yeah, so he just begins blaring this song, um, which if you want to make a history check, you can to identify the song he's playing on the bagpipes. <laughs> oh, good roll. All right. 
Bing. It's you a little dwarven song. ditty called Stone Rose. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, after you know, um, it was inside the box. <laughs> 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 Stone Rose. Um, Rose. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I like this. Stone, Stone Rose. Rose. Stone Rose. <laughs> you grow and you die. <laughs> This is my jam. And We're after no uh, after playing the song for about two minutes, you begin to hear this loud grinding noise, and then these gates just split down the middle and peel back into the stone walls. All four sets of them, revealing a great set of stone doors at the far end of the hall. Oh, this is my favorite part. The top of the mountain where the roses bloom. <laughs> And, All right, uh, I love it. I love it. All right, you continue onward. Yeah. All right. He uh, keeps playing, the, wrapping up the song behind you yeah. as you make your way down maybe this moving down. Oh, echoey maybe. hallway. Stone golems, About sixty feet tall. Yeah. You don't see any stone golems yet. The doors yeah. are still closed oh, as you approach inside. them. Maybe they push the door open. Father's beer, don't make this weird. Shut I up. give you a stone rose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But as you approach, you can see that the doors are sculpted with uh, dwarven imagery of uh, these dwarves basically uh, taming a volcano um, and uh, hauling all sorts of ore and uh, beating giants over the head with big hammers. Dwarf shit, basically. Dwarf porn. All kinds of dwarf yeah, porn. Exactly. Dwarf porn. <laughs> dwarf porn. <laughs> uh, but you can see that there are small holes bored into the doors. Right. Uh, you think it's be so the sound can pass through, basically. Yeah. Um, oh, so you can carry the sound. Exactly. Cool. And as you draw okay. within about uh, thirty feet, oh, uh, make per actually I don't don't make perception checks. What are your passive perception scores? It's basically seventeen. Okay. If you can't find it, it's literally just your uh, ten right, plus your you. perception bonus. Uh, it's yeah. down the lower left. Fifteen. Mm. Should be under your ability 11. scores. Uh -huh. Minus one. All right. What? All right. My passive. So, do you even know you're in a box? No. Uh, so yeah. 15 is good. 17 is good. Where am I? You guys can see on the ceiling above you are all kinds of murder, murder holes on the floor. Oh, this, and they look, is, they're big, so they, they can look like, murderous. You know when yeah. you're in a hotel and you wake drop up and first you don't know where you are? That's me every, every day. <laughs> Um, but this? nothing, nothing falls bed. on top of you. Good. And as you get within 30 feet of the doors, they are pulled open before you, so they sort of open away from you. Oh, they open in. Yes, so they do. Make it yeah. suck worse to get out. Right. And, yeah, because uh, when you try to leave, it becomes they're obvious. already in there. Yeah. It becomes obvious as you walk through the doors that each of these doors is being pulled open by a stone golem. Mm -hmm. That's uh, awesome. And the stone golem is... But this is a dwarf hall, so they're just re they're short, right? They're tiny. Yeah. They're, oh, this, yes. they're this big. Portable. Boom. Oh, That's a little bigger than right. Oh, yeah. I'm certain because those are minis tall. that yeah. we're not going to have to worry about those. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. He has the minis purely wait to just as a visual. Oh, it's a treat for us. Yeah, it you know? is. It's going to start getting your axe. That's like getting the wand. It sparks the imagination. It is absolutely the engagement. Did he say Whipperwill? Two things. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> Two things you notice. Have, it has to be a thing where you pull a lever yeah. and then all four, all the yeah, sides. All the sides go. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they shoot oh, they off. Right, go they go down, but and then the, the top comes down, it hits them. And it just ruins the dramatic moment. Two two things you notice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, as you enter the Hall of War is there's all kinds of uh, painted uh, frescoes on the walls depicting dwarves in battle, but that's not the most interesting thing. Apart from the golems, you can see that the floor in basically the central part of the room, um, with the exception of sort of a 10-foot rim around the outside, is sunk a little bit, and there are all these sort of piles of oddly geomorphic shaped <coughs> stones everywhere, and really? what appears to be a partially assembled jigsaw puzzle made of giant stone tiles. Mm. And you can see there are a couple that is fascinating. Uh, a couple dwarves in the hall. They're just dressed like, or they're not wearing armor or anything like that. Um, but they seem to be kind of, um, tr you know, fitting it together. It's kind of like if you go into a, a corporate office and they've got like jigsaw puzzles set up on tables yeah. to sort of creatively engage staff. This is kind of what this is. Wow, um, this is of, team building. It's yeah, a, exactly. It's, it's a team, team building exercise. <laughs> team and building so exercise. Kind of, you see a bunch of dwarves kind of mulling over trying to fit pieces together and figure out this puzzle, but it looks very big and very complex. Like there must be a thousand stone tiles of this wow. thing. Wow, Because uh, this thing is 30 feet long or 30 feet wide by about 100 feet long. That's one thing. The other thing you notice is there is a dwarven figure uh, coming out of the eastern set of doors to greet you. 
From the Hall of Elders. Yeah, from the Hall of Elders. And he, he looks like a major domo type guy, mm -hmm. um, basically. Somebody, a, an official greeter. Yeah. Um, and so he is coming, bee, beelining right for you. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm st I am so bored. Well, well, right. well, I have been here before, like this dwarf shit, and like great yeah. more dwarf shit. You know what I mean? Like right. just like over, like <laughs> over the over the folded arms. It is his task, one hundred percent, to manage these interactions. I, I get out in front of her and do like official dwarven, you know, like polite greeting and say. You know, I, I, I welcome you on behalf of my mistress, um, who is pleased to, to make a deposit in her vault as, as quickly as possible. You know, obviously saying, we're in a bit of a rush here. No, that's not your problem, but we got to turn the crank on this. <laughs> Except it's fancy. Actually, that's probably pretty fancy for you. <laughs> yeah, honestly. It's like Box, really courteous. Vault, bro. <laughs> now. Then close vault. <laughs> vault safe. Box safe. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I, I do say you know as part of the initial courteous thing, I say, you Barrels. know, we've we've brought you a gift as thank you for your good service in the past, um, and with the hope that we can expedite, you know, our getting our shit cool. here. Uh, she is. Um, she smiles broadly and she says, "Well, thank you. That was very kind of you. Um, I'm sorry. What is this gift? Uh, you? Oh, it's a uh, it's a fine." Uh, vintage of, of Dwarven Brandy. Why, that's splendid. Thank you. Um, the gifts aren't necessary, but they are greatly appreciated. That's my experience, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she says, um, she seems very friendly toward you. Yeah. And uh, hmm. uh, she, she says, uh, and... Uh, Is she kind of a younger dwarf? Yeah, she's... Youngerish, like maybe fifty. Oh, so kind um, of a bit of a looker. No gray hair. Yeah, kind of a very, very good like lustrous yeah. beard. They, they, she, <laughs> it's got that gleam. It's it's clear that they're putting their best foot forward here okay. and sending out one of their finest looking representatives. Well, uh, I'll, I'll put on a little bit of the charm here. You know, All I right. don't see any reason why I might yeah. get a little a little yeah. play on this okay. mission. I don't, this, you you know, Jim okay. is always like getting you know cock blocking me yeah. with your sisters. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Then when she's got a sexy voice, that's all you know. Whipper Will! <laughs> you don't get to use the past. That's not what it's for. <laughs> that's they not how it works. <laughs> Whipper Will! She's sexy. Whipper Will! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so uh, she seems very, very friendly, but uh, she also notices the, the dour expression on mm -hmm. uh, your mistress's face and immediately gets down to business and says, well, Let's get you to Iron Beard and get that secured as quickly as possible. Thank you. Um, but of course, like as uh, um, as you know, uh, after we secure your consignment, um, you're free to stay here as long as you like. We've got some other ales on, uh, on tap at the tavern. Mm. Uh, we've got we can have guest quarters set aside for you. Is it just the two of you then? Yes. <laughs> yes, just the two of us. No more than two. No more than two. Just two is the, two the number, and two is all there is. Uh, she says uh, she she rhymes off when the, uh, the dinner hours will be, uh, and there are two there are chimes that will let you know uh, in your rooms or when when meals are about to be served. Uh, there are hot baths outside of your rooms that you can have. Uh, oh, that must be what these are. Yes, and any other amenities. Uh, I bring out the map of their fortress. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that here with all the top secret secret doors. Are those are your right. secret doors. Great. Yep. Uh, while they're talking, Omen, uh, make a perception check. That's a wisdom if you don't have perception. Oh, no, I got it. All right. Come now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, ten. Okay. Even off of a three, I get a ten. Yeah. <sighs> and uh, so she starts to lead you northways through the set of doors, mm -hmm. down to past the barracks, toward the vaults. Now, I do as much as possible, because I know I'm, I'm on the job here with her, I, want, I know there's a secret door there, and I want to eyeball that as much as possible without being Be obvious. Cool. So that, like, <clears throat> if I run into a secret door later, I will hopefully recognize, you know. But it's, but it's basically you see, this area at the here. Wall, yeah. You see no evidence of Good, secret, secret door. Good, secret door. Okay, pro. that's kind of what I figured. But Yeah. <clears throat> now, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Should we have her bring our man, Carrington Sway, out? 
for this part of the process. He's, he's the only one that has a chance of knowing this magic word. He has right? the magic word. So maybe, so yeah. I hope he has it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, yeah, as we start to, uh, to walk, it's like, uh, how soon will Ironbeard? Is that yeah. the, how, how soon will he be available? Oh, we'll go meet him right now. Okay. Um, and is, uh, is Carrington on the premises? Yes, he is. Um, uh, I believe he's in the tavern. Ah, okay. Perfect. In, indulging one of his many vices. Ah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Of course. He's like a functionary of this awful company. I'm sure he's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, and did she say where she's taking us? To the vault. To the street. Well, you, through the you, you seem pretty. Deter you wanted to get your stuff secured right away. Okay, so we'll say yes. Could uh, could you send a messenger to uh, have him meet us at the vault, please? As you guys make your way down the hallway, um, there are a couple dwarves that you see outside the barracks chambers who are armored and they're smoking pipes. And uh, this uh, female dwarf will ask one of them to uh, inform uh, Lord Sway that. Uh, Lady Drawn has returned. So. Right. So you may have to cast the spell. I start calling him Lady Drawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. Listen, we, 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 I may have to have you cast the spell that mm -hmm. gets the, that has him say the word mm -hmm. from in there. I can do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then she turns to you and she says, uh, My lady, I know that you've gone through this before, but the, the Lord of the Enclave will want to see you as a formality. Uh, hmm. And of course, exactly. you're, more than, you're more than welcome to dine with him this evening. Just like before. Just look around, yeah. <clears throat> She's, my mistress is uh, feeling a little poorly lately, uh, which is why we're in a bit of a hurry. I, <clears throat> I, I need someone like this, like in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, uh, when you get to the end of the hall and you get to the vaults, uh, there are stairs leading up to a raised platform, and there you can see that there is a dwarf in uh, sort of soot-covered robes. Uh, he's called Ironbeard because his beard looks like it's made of iron. It's, oh, it's so like gray. shiny and gray. It's shiny, oh. gray, shiny wow. and gray. That's I can... love it. And he is basically oiling down. <laughs> what the fuck? That. Whoa! Um, what in the is that thing? Fuck. That thing is sitting outside of the vaults. Um, oh my god! He's basically lovingly oiling this thing down with a rag. Can I see it through the box? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You sort of catch little glimpses of it, but you can't yeah, get it. It's like the elephant. Like you can see like the yeah. tail and then like <laughs> the leg. So yeah, it's a mechanized bug. bug. Lord. It's a bug. Yeah, yeah, bug. To know that I want to fight it. <laughs> oh my you probably Lord. catch a glimpse of those blades. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Whipper whip. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on the way, assuming that we're this? kind of like, you know, they've no, got some people sure wheeling this thing. Yeah. I kind of fall Slaughter back like out of earshot of the boss, and I'm like, and then I, I kind of drop a little of the formality, and then I'm like, mm -hmm. and we're just going to have like, you know, just us minions talk. Oh, yeah. You know, kind of like, so, oh boy, how's it been? Yeah, I really appreciate you being willing to, you know, move things along. It's, she would literally peel the skin off me. Oh, if this, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. but uh, so how have things All been? All business. How have things been? Oh, great. Uh, things are going very well. We had a, a, a wonderful season last year. The mines are doing great. Mm, cool. um, the forges are really active. <laughs> uh, plus, um, she says, uh, our delivery arrived. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> it's been a, uh, you, you've been waiting on that for a while from what I've heard, rumor-wise. She says, You've got to see this. This, really? is, this is going to transform uh, our our whole defensive strategy. Really? Yeah. And How long uh, do you think that'll take for it to transform everything? <laughs> <laughs> Could it be happening today before right four o'clock by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so please. All right. And I'm assuming then the doors open and, and this yes, is revealed? Exactly. Got it. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> So we, but they're just getting it ready right now. They may not even 100% know how it works. Let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope that like the manual is like coming next. <laughs> and this iron bearded dwarf uh, sort of stands in front of you stoically, and uh, the 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 major domo introduces you. Oh, and she, she, now she just dawns on her. She hasn't even asked you your name. Oh, it's. Uh... <laughs> 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 it's Dude. the Ari of Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> Why do you ask? Verity. 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 Okay. Verily. 
This Ver is Verily. Ver 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 yes. This is Verity. And of course, uh, <coughs> Iron Beard turns his glance right yeah, yeah. at you. He doesn't pay any attention to that. No, no, no. I'm just out this right right now. I, did, I give Iron Beard the nod that I am sure the version of my older sister that I have in my head <laughs> would have done. Just, just the real Make even. Another check with advantage. The real even top to bottom nod. Uh, this is even deception, nod, right? This is deception. Yes. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. And this is a contested roll, so he's contesting you. Oh, oh, fuck. But you know, you got whoever, advantage. Whoever. <laughs> no, I'm holding this one in here. Oh, dear. Do you have advantage or disadvantage? He has advantage. advantage. Oh, thank Christ. So, yeah. Because if it's disadvantage, it can only get worse. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to roll a one. You're going to roll a one, aren't you? Hey! Oh, uh, that's that's 21. Oh, All right. Jesus Christ. He could easily have rolled a one. Credit <laughs> averted. And is, it pos is it possible if if he wasn't so distracted with his with new his shiny, bug, his new bug, his new shredder? <laughs> yeah, machine, he is he's just kind of out idly right petting it. Uh, that, that he may be paying more attention to you, or maybe if he liked you more. Right. Um, <laughs> if it was worth talking to. Exactly. And so he says, "Is this going into your current vault, or are you opening up a new vault?" Oh, no, I got it. I was like, <laughs> so far all the speech has been going from over here. No, I, he's, he's yeah, not, exactly. I'm not he's worth chewing. his time. <clears throat> I, I just say current. <clears throat> the current, the, like, like the one word. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, he'll walk over to the door closest to where the, the X star thing is. Uh, he'll tap on it with an iron rod and it will open of its own accord. And then he's le leading you down a vaulted hallway with all of these. Down to the lower right there? Yep. All of these oh, uh, no, locked right. iron doors set uh, firmly into the walls. Is our man here? Or, or the other liaison? Yeah. Yeah. Sway? She Sway. does not go into the vaults. So what oh, about Carrington? Yeah. Carrington. Yeah. Carrington. Yes, so and he's drunk, right? Are you trying to stay outside? Before Carrington shows up, you know um, that they've gone off to get him. Well, yeah, they've gone off to get him, and we need to go in with him. Yes, okay. So we, we, we can go in and we'll just have him sent in. All right. Yeah. Because that's good for me. If he comes in, yes. they, if they open the door, and then they let Carrington in and they yeah. leave, that's great for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. So these two dwarves come the same way that you guys came to reach the vaults, and they're basically carrying oh, this shit. drunk, can barely stand half elf along with them he's mm. like a whip of a guy he's, yeah uh, a whip of will will doesn't weigh much it looks like any one of the dwarves could easily carry him but they're basically ushering him along under the shoulders kind of thing and just his feet are dragging yeah. behind yeah him. yeah <clears throat> in my back yeah i say i say i'll take it from Let's here a piece of paper from you. go ahead Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the the uh, no, I, i'll the take iron, iron i'll beard. take it from here yeah. mm -hmm. okay I'll go yeah. and, and relieve so, them. Yeah. So Carrington sort of looks up at you and his eyes get wide. <gasps> My lady. I cuff him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't done that technique in years. It works, though. And then I, I, I grab him. Yes. He, he, he basically can't stand, right? Yeah, no, no. he's like, ah, I can stand. I got this. It's all right. It's, uh, no. This dwarven ale is really strong. Yeah, I just turn around. You come with a warning label. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just tur turn on my heel and we walk into the hallway All that right. toward our, our vault. All right. Um, now, r refresh me here. There's two keys. Yes, Iron Beard, Iron Beard has one. And that's the one that we just went through. Uh, he, no, he, he basically opened up the magically locked door. Well, yeah, there's two doors. There's a, a door in front of our yeah. magic mouth, right? Okay. And yeah. so, so the first door you have to get to is the one into the vaults. Mm -hmm. That's one where he basically taps it with an iron rod and it opens. Right. Okay. Once uh, you are let inside, uh, he follows you. That's right. With one of the keys. And you theoretically have the other key, or Carrington does. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and uh, that's how you open the outer door to your vault. Ex exactly. And there's a combination lock, um, which... But Iron Beard is staying with us? Because uh, he has a key to get that just out. For the yes. first, just, just for the just first key, Just on the outside key, door. Okay. Just for right, the first right. key. He will not enter the vault. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, it's, that's our private space, right? Yeah. Do it. So, All right. So I, I just hold my hand out to Carrington. He is, is he wearing something around his neck or anything like that? No, he's like feeling around in his pockets and his vest. <clears> and I'll, uh, I'll let... Uh, I'll sort of like do the the body language thing, yeah. like letting Iron Beard know that if he would like to do his half of the gig here, yeah. Um, and I'll kind of be like, 
you know, sorry, sorry that you're having to watch yeah. mom and dad fight. <laughs> um, <clears throat> does he make any motion to like do his half here? He does. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Iron Beard will put his key in and just sort of hold it there. He's doing, he do it halfway. Yeah. He just oh, sticks it there. we've got a. It's, it's a double lock simultaneous. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a. Oh. This is like a nuclear silo. <laughs> yeah. Carrington is like he's feeling around yeah. for his key, and he's so drunk he either can't find it or he it, doesn't have it on him. But he is checking for it, and that's a good sign. Yes. 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 That's the good sign. Search him. Yeah. Exactly. I turn him upside down. All right. Uh, you can make a uh, a Carrington sway roll. A Carrington sway roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Are you doing something physical? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah basically, I'm, I'm basically robbing him. Patting him up. Okay. Well, actually, down. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, please, please, Mister. This is beneath you. Yeah. And like, if somebody's going to toss this guy, I start I'm, rough. I start. I start in though. Yeah. yeah. And then and then. Yeah. I, just, I leave him there yeah. for you to come for you to come fondle. And, yeah. like, I I professionally take things from people. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> And yeah, I will. I'll give him a one. So, what yeah. do you? What would uh, you, you like? You can slide a hand this if you want. Yeah, since that's a good skill for you. Hey, Ooh, good job. Seventeen. Uh, Crucy twenty-eight. Uh, you do not find the key oh, on his shit. person. Son of a bitch. Uh, so we have to go do, back to his room. You do find a money pouch, uh, but it's mostly empty. Okay. Uh, there's a few coins stuffed in there. And, and a beetle. So I. Well, he's, like, also, he's also got what appears to be a magic short sword. Oh. It's hard to steal that right here, though. <laughs> um, I say. I, I, I turn to Ironbeard and I say, I am so sorry. Um, it appears that our emissary <laughs> is not prepared. Would it be possible for us to retire to our rooms while we deal with some personnel issues? Ironbeard says, absolutely. With the will, take them to their rooms. <gasps> <laughs> 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 Everything gets really quiet. <laughs>